Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider. More than just muscle. Someone asked me to do a full day video log of what I eat in a day and I thought this would be a good opportunity since it's Memorial Day weekend and I'm going to my brother's house. He's having family over and we're gonna eat together to celebrate. I thought it'd be a good day because I wanna show you more of an advanced strategy on how to eat when I go out with my family and friends and I travel a little bit. I follow more of a warrior diet style. I know a lot of you know that I do intermittent fasting and that's what I really like to do. But intermittent fasting, you cut your, you have your feeding window a little bit earlier and you have two meals. But since I wanna be able to enjoy time with my family, I'm gonna cut it all the way, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna fast all the way until dinner and I will then have a big dinner with my family and not really have to track or say no to seconds if I don't want to. So I had black coffee already and a lot of you guys know that I don't take supplements or anything like that except for an occasional protein powder because I believe protein powder is supposed to be used for your convenience and to supplement and to help you hit your protein ratio for the day so you're not short of it and so a lot of you know that I haven't really been taking that much lately but recently I have because life's been really busy for me and I've been traveling a lot and I've been a little hesitant to do a post like this because you know I don't really want to put any supplement products onto my channel unless I believe in it. And I was searching around and I found this company and I reached out to them. I reached out to them for sponsorship on a post because I was like, you know, I think my viewers should know that I do take protein powders on occasion, but just show how I use protein powder and how occasionally I use it. And so I reached out to this company called Antler Farms. They're a New Zealand based company. And what I really like about them, which caught my attention was that the protein that they get from their cows, the cows are grass fed and there's no extra GMOs added to it or anything like that. And I just really love that. I love that they're treating their cows right and that I'm not getting any additional chemicals from the steroids and growth hormones from the cows when they get the protein from it. So I was lucky enough that they responded and were like, okay. So that's the only reason why I was a little hesitant because I don't really like to put supplements onto my channel, but this is the company that seemed legit, that was legit, sent me some stuff, and I really like the protein right now. And so I wanna show you how I use it on days that I travel, because the days that I travel, I do use a protein supplement. I'm gonna have protein powder about three hours before the big meal. I don't like to eat too much protein at one sitting, especially with Warrior Diet, because I feel a little uncomfortable. It makes me feel really overly full. So I like to spread it out. I'll probably have a little bit of coffee, later it's around um 11 15 so i'll probably have another decaf coffee or coffee later and then i'll show you the meals i'm not going to show you my family just because first of all they didn't ask for that and second of all nobody asked me to show my family i thought you guys are just interested in the food i eat so i'm going to show you that and talk a little bit through that so i hope you guys enjoy this video so like i said this is me just packing it up a little bit this is really easy two scoops of this just in case and I think that's like close to 50 grams of protein that should be like good enough for me right now so I'll see you guys on the train uh, so of course the day that I decide to just take a nice day out and enjoy the ride the train is late I think I got my coffee and I'll just listen to some music so I just got into town really not even that hungry to tell you the truth I just uh how do you work this water thing? Oh, autofill. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even that hungry, to tell you the truth, but I'm just gonna do it anyway because apparently we might be doing some gardening and helping my brother out make his front porch or front yard look really good. So I'm just gonna put a scoop of this protein powder in water. And that's how you kind of know if something tastes good or not. You can actually just do it with water. Uh, I need my other hand, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. So I prefer just to have the protein powder with water and just mix that up on here. Like I said, I'm not even that hungry to tell you the truth, but it's just that I know I probably should eat something or else what will end up happening. If I'm a piece of fruit or a shake or something, um, I'll go a little bit overboard, especially with gardening because I wasn't anticipating that. I'm 
was with the tree. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> this technically does break the fast, but I'm pushing the first meal back as far as possible for dinner so I can eat and enjoy more and not have to count things. I'll probably be pretty under the calories. And today, if I break even with about 2,800 to 3,000, because that's my maintenance level for calories, I'll consider that a victory. So I got sent out to get some whole milk, organic whole milk. And I just wanted to just interject and say to always stay hydrated, guys. Stay hydrated while you're doing warrior diet. Because a lot of times our hunger can get mistaken for being thirsty. So if you stay properly hydrated, have some lemon water if you have that available, and maybe a pinch of salt if you if you can to just blunt that appetite. I mean, this is what I do. This might not be for you to do a warrior diet right away. It's just that I find this very effective for me and I don't have to worry about the calorie intake or anything like that. Feel free to have some snacks in between right now if you need to, like some nuts. I had a whey protein shake. That kind of holds me off right now. And waiting for dinner, it's like, I don't know, what time is it? Mm, it's almost 3.30. So I will do that right now. And what street is this? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And those are the strategies you can do. Just stay hydrated, okay? My, one of my vices actually is diet sodas when I'm out with my family. I just really love diet sodas. I know that goes against some of the things of trying to keep chemicals outside my body, but it's a little bit of a vice right now. I'm just trying to reduce it as much as possible. So I'm bringing my fast with yogurt covered almonds, about a handful or two, <clears throat> while I watch the rest of my family garden. About an hour before we burst. Dyer loves grandpa. No doubt. Loves Doesn't count because there's no hole. There's a hole in it. Marvin. As you can see, I was a little bit more flexible with everything. It's a little bit of a special occasion. That's why I do a warrior diet where I'll wait, eat one big meal. And it's pretty continuous, as you can see. And I had, obviously, I broke my fast with the Greek yogurt almond bites that I had. And everything's more of an estimate, guys. It's not going to be exact. So, for instance, I, I put in the tracker, it's about eight ounces of potato chips. I might have had a little bit more or less, but I wasn't trying to fudge it under. I probably went a little bit over as well. And the onion dip and, for instance, the burger, I was probably, I just picked it to my best knowledge of what I could estimate with the burger and the onion dip and everything. I don't know exactly what's in it, nor am I gonna tell my, ask my family member what, exactly what's in that onion dip. So it's all an estimate, and this is supposed to just give you flexibility to be able to eat as like pretty much what you want and not feel awkward. So it leaves a lot of room because you're only eating one big meal, which is beautiful because then you don't have to be conscious and you can still hit your fitness goals if you want to. And you can see it in my fitness pal. I don't normally track, but I did it just for this video. I was well underneath my calories. I was about 2,800, and that's for me, maintenance is 3,000, and give or take a little bit, but I also give or take a little bit for each meal that I track too. So it's really about just staying within the ballpark especially on days like this. <sighs> this is my first daily vlog with a full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, write a comment, and I'll do more of these. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next week.